Golnar, what has changed in the Iranian parliament? What has changed among the politicians in Tehran? I mean, nothing, nothing has changed that much. And we have to remember that this this bill, at the moment, it's not law. And what remains very important is the fact that it has to go through a number of executive checks. And one of those, obviously, um, is tied to whether the Supreme Leader um, is, you know, would would give it approval, which at the moment, I mean, it's, it's difficult to kind of say that the real concrete effect this bill will have. Lawmakers voted in favour of it, obviously, but it's also a weaker version of what it was last week. Um, and again, as I said, crucially, it's not law, and it has to go through a number of executive chambers first before it before it's ratified. Uh, Golnar, you're in Tehran. What is the difference between what you hear on the street and what's in this bill? Is there a difference between the two? Um, it's, it's an interesting question. I think most people here, you know, they are very kind of, um, I mean, most people I, I speak to, um, they want to see an end to sanctions. Um, I don't think that's a surprise to anyone because, you know, they want greater prosperity in their lives, for their families. Um, they want to see the currency um, get, you know, strengthened to what it was a few years ago. Um, that, that's kind of universal. I, I mean, there are concerns among some parts of the population, although I think those are, those are again, they, they may be my so I'm not sure, um, about, about the, the way that the talks are going. But in general, people want to see these talks continue. And I think most lawmakers do as well.